Clarkey's non-league pre-match predictor on BBC Radio Newcastle. This is where we pitch two of the region's non-league football teams in a head-to-head prior to the actual match. Obviously, it's not scientific at all, so please don't go betting your house on it. It's not going to work. But this week, there is a twist. We're taking a break from the Northern Alliance and non-league football because tomorrow night is the quarter-final in the Northumberland Senior Cup, and it's a huge match. Bedleton Terriers take on the Blythe Spartans. In the red corner this evening from Bedleton Terriers is Dave Anderson. Good evening, Dave. Good evening. And I understand you are a slightly fanatical supporter of the Bedleton Terriers. Possibly an understatement. <laughs> when was the first game you went to? Can you remember? Well, I have to admit, I, I'm not a, a lifelong fan because I actually hopped from Gated originally. Right. So I moved up to Bedlington early 1999 and actually my first ever game was the FA Vars quarter-final against Workington Town featuring Paul Stewart. <laughs> that was the year we got to Wembley. No, not, not a bad first game to go to, no, really. Not a bad first game. Actually, my second game was the semi-final where we won 5-0. So, yeah. it was quite, quite a good way to whet the appetite. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, you obviously caught the bug. And uh, do you travel around to see them at away games, or is it most just home games that you go to? Uh, these days, it's rare that I miss a game. Fantastic. Now, I know that um, Bedlington were the most successful team in the area for a decade with a, an absolutely fabulous track record. Yes. Uh, but the summer, it wasn't a particularly great situation. It didn't look great for the club. But um, Graham Redpath stepped in, new committee. The club is, is turning around. It is. Um, it, 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 it's a time for being positive, isn't it, and optimistic about Bedlington Terriers? Well, certainly, if, if you asked me in July if I thought I'd be having this conversation... Uh, in six months' time, I'd probably be laughing at you. <laughs> uh, it, it was that dire. It had gone as far as somebody tabling our club's resignation to the league. Wow. And then literally at the 11th hour, it's a cliche, but in this occasion it's true, yeah. Graham, along with the, the chairman, Dave Holmes, stepped forward uh, with a plan to save the club. And that's what's happened. Uh, difficulties on the pitch, but... You know, we're getting there, a, a squad's being assembled that hopefully will be more competitive, but off the pitch, you wouldn't recognise us as the same club. Great news, that's fantastic. So, let's talk about the match tomorrow. Uh, derby match, as well as a cup tie, should be very, very tasty indeed. Do you think you can upset the odds and win it? Uh, I'm ever the optimist, yeah. <laughs> See, that's a true fan, a true fan is ever the optimist. And we've got to recognise that Blythe have done some great things in the last couple of years. I mean, as a, as a, a football fan and a non-league fan in general, I take my hats off to, to the job that Harry's done in the last 18 months, and I actually was there at a couple of the games in, in the running to the winning the, the, the title last season, but, you know, it's a cup game. Anything can happen. We've got most of our squad available and fit, and, well, let's just see what happens. Excellent. Well, Dave, good luck for tonight and also for tomorrow night. Thank you very much. And in the blue corner then, from Blythe Spartans, it's Ian Evans, the general manager. Uh, now, things for Blythe Spartans, um, going pretty well after several kind of fallow years, you could say. They took off last season, won the Unibond Premier League, and now in the top four in the Conference North. Um, things are, things are looking pretty, aren't they? Uh, very good. Um, I don't know whether we can ever surpass last year, last year with what we won. Um, but yeah, we're, we're now in the top four uh, of the Conference North, and uh, I, I don't like cliches, but usual thing, if somebody had said this is where we would be at this time of the year, uh, we'd take it. Abs no absolutely. I mean, great credit to, to manager Harry Dunn. I mean, he's done an absolutely fantastic job for you, hasn't he? Um, known as Houdini. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's... he's uh, I mean, you know, what, you know what the other thing is? He's a nice bloke. Yeah. And I think that's where he uh, comes out on top. Um, players will come and play for Blythe that um, wouldn't normally, you know, due to the travelling, etc. Uh, Harry seems to master a squad together. Um, and, and it's important to note that, that basically with, with top four Conference North, and apart from one or two players, it's exactly the same squad Mm -hmm. Won as the league last year, you know? And that's important to have that consistency and also to have that continuity. I mean, do you think you can win promotion again? I mean, I know there's still a long way to go, but... <laughs> yeah, um, the interesting part from my point of view is this time last year I was in discussion on and off with the conference to try and get a, a, an idea of what the expenditure was, etc., travelling, this, that, and the other. Um, I hope it doesn't surprise our supporters that I'm doing the same again now for the conference north. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I'm looking at the league table... Um, I think we've got possibly eight or nine overnight stays. You yeah. know, Friday, Friday night for a Saturday game. 
um, and bottom of the Division 2 at the moment is Torquay, so if they get relegated, <laughs> we've got a nice weekend in Torquay, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. So let's have a look at the Senior Cup. I mean, how important is the Cup in, in the grand scheme of things? Um, it's very important. I, I know there's one or two supporters that obviously will always put the league first. Um, but because I knew I was going on tonight, I looked at the stats and I suppose it is impressive that Blythe have won it 20 times. But the last time was 1994. Now, we, we have been in, what, two finals over the last six years. Last year, we were in the final against Newcastle. But it came at the end of the season when, you know, we'd won the Championship, we'd won the League Cup, uh, we'd won the Charity Shield, and it came in a flash, you know. And, yeah. um, it was a decent match, but I think we should have won it. Um, and I know Harry's view, you know, life's too short. The next match is the most important one, and if it's there to be won, we'll win it. Um, apart from a couple of injuries and one suspension, it's a strong squad that's going out tomorrow night at Bedlington, no question. Well, Ian, good luck for tonight and us for tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Clarky and Wilco. Clarky and Wilco on BBC Radio Newcastle. So tonight is Clarky and Wilco's Northumberland Cup pre-match predictor. Takes the form of two-way tango, a game that yes we have stolen and yes we have made our own. This is how it works. We pick a topic. You both then take turns to name something associated with said topic. For example, cars. You'd have to name as many brands of cars as you possibly can. If you pause too long, repeat an answer, or just start talking rubbish, then your opponent wins. So, Dave, do you understand the rules? I do. <laughs> and Ian, do you understand the rules? Yes. <laughs> okay, tonight's topic is items you'd associate with the game of rugby. Let's play Clark and Wilco's Northumberland Cup pre-match predictor. Okay, gentlemen, so it is items to do with the game of rugby. Dave, you're going to go first. I will count you in in just a moment. Okay, Dave. 22-yard line. Ian. Try. Dave. Stop call. Ian. Scrum. Dave. Prop. Ian. Penalty. Dave. Hooker. Ian. Uh, rugby union. Dave. Fifteen players. Ian. Rugby ball. <laughs> Dave. Line out. Ian. Rugby league. Dave. Goal post. Ian. Oh, kick. Dave. Lost. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to give it to Ian there, yeah, Dave. I'll be honest. No, it was a draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a replay next week at, at uh, Croft Park. <laughs> All right, so for the first time ever, it is going to be a draw in Clarkey and Wilco's Northumberland Senior Cup pre-match prediction, which means it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a joy after a replay. Dave, thank you very much indeed for taking part. No problem. Good luck for tomorrow. And Ian, thank you much for taking That's part, and good luck for tomorrow. Dave, come and see us tomorrow night. We'll have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you organise your social calendar. Thank you very much indeed. So as you've heard there on Clarkey and Wilco's...